Manchester police uh, have warned people to stay away from uh, Manchester Arena um, as officers respond to what they're describing as an incident amid reports on social media uh, of some kind of explosion. It just feels surreal, surreal moment in Manchester in general. Really. I was watching the news and I was actually kind of hopeful that maybe it wasn't a Muslim this time. Um, or someone that calls himself a Muslim. We're Mancunians standing up in solidarity to, to, for the victims and for their families and their friends. For me, that, that was a strength. Being there at that vigil gave me that strength inside to feel like, you know, we're one. One of the things that we want to try and do is try and get um, gauge some of the response that the community could could give um, and what they think is the best way forward for the community, uh, especially um, in terms of staying uh, vigilant, um, supporting each other and standing together. So hopefully we'll get a chance to speak to a few people. You know, I was so sad and sickened by what happened. I felt this loser, this failure has caused so much destruction. You know, it mashed up my city, our city, and, you know, killing so many kids and innocent people. That, that, that represents no religion. And, you know, for me, it hurt me in my heart. And feeling now about the backlashes off that, you know, a lot of people are gonna think, yeah, it's his faith or he's a Muslim, he's this, that. And it's innocent people, it's innocent kids could be hurt now. Women, vulnerable Muslims walking around the city center or anywhere the same night. A mosque got firebombed, people getting spat at. It's disgusting. All it's gonna do is create more violence and more hate. So really, you know, I'm, I'm really upset and things need to get sorted for us to get back together and let's, let's take Manchester forward. We love Manchester. Just shock and awe and utter disbelief, man. It was, uh, it was too close to home. That's what the first thing I thought, just too close to home. I think we need to start communicating with each other a lot more, Muslims and non-Muslims, to open up our mosques and uh, for it to be open to men and women from um, all faiths and no faiths at all. Well, the immediate phase where this is such a big atrocity done by one individual, and it was certainly something that the Muslim community did not need at this time. We've enough with what's going on abroad without somebody just walking into a foyer, uh, thinking and blowing little kids up. I just thought it, that was my fear and what's going to happen next because I honestly believe that was just a warning. There is going to be bigger stuff. We've got the prevent strategy that's failed. You're getting outsourced work um, organisations coming in, um, parachuting into Manchester, telling us uh, telling us what we need to do uh, in Manchester when they've got no clue. So, yeah, you know, th there's loads of issues that, I've, that I think um, that we need to address, but that's one of the biggest ones. We need to community cohesion. It needs to be done on the grassroots level. What, what we need is a, is a real policy where it needs to be cross-party, local communities, faith leaders coming together, um, creating a real community cohesion for young people, older people, where it's not funded through anti-terrorism law or attached to that. We should unite in this and stand together, not just Manchester, the whole world, the whole British, maybe, community, but they should do that and stand strong against them.